Good afternoon, morning, folks. Mike Wells, your World Explorer. Hope you're having a great day. Today is August the 29th, 2022, and we're going to check our Route 9 nematode controls, what's left of them. Right here we see, uh, for the squash, the beneficial bacteria and beneficial fungi inoculation control is still doing well. I used spectricide bug stop to keep some of the loopworms away, but also if they get too bad um, and you didn't catch them with the spectricide, you can just use BT thuricide on the leaves. They'll ingest that and that will kill them. It's a bacteria that is safe for you, bad for them. Now here's the here's a new setup over here with the beneficial bacteria and the beneficial fungi, but the soil is completely um, leaves and detritus that were in our compost pile on the other side of the yard and then I put a little bit of light colored mulch on top to help uh, reflect out some of the sunlight so that the soil does not retain that much heat and it also does retain water so they're all coming up and I'm really excited about that because this control is showing that the beneficial bacteria and beneficial fungi are doing well Right here, you can see what's left of the lasagna layered soil that we had here. Uh, we only used, at this location, the uh, black walnut hole powder, but for some reason, they didn't survive here. Now, the juglone works and is effective against root knot nematodes. When I pulled these guys up, uh, there was no sign of root knot nematodes. They just simply died. I think it was either an issue with the soil uh, nutrients or they just got too hot or something I don't know that one evades me as, at this time but here's the other control that's still surviving now what's interesting here is uh, one of the plants did die it's this one right here and you can see that there were some root knot nematodes that affected this plant see See those bulbs, those knots. So I'm pretty sure that's what killed this plant. And it, they might be attacking the other plants, like this one. I'm not sure about that one yet. These guys have already been attacked heavily by the loop worms. I used the BT thuricide to go against them. This guy's throwing off some more vines, which is rare. I don't see that often. But uh, yeah, this is the control where we used lasagna layered soil and then the earthworm castings seeing that the root knot nematodes were in fact present is not a good sign so uh, we can't definitively say because it was kind of on the edge here uh, we can't definitively say that these uh, earthworm castings don't work so we're just going to give this one some more time and we'll see if it produces. Anyhow, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps the channel grow. And stay tuned as I'll keep you updated on the progress of these root knot nematode controls. Have a good day.